The new year can't get here soon enough. I'm begging you. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most anticipated anime of 2018. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at series and new seasons of anime that are scheduled for release in the next year. Please keep in mind we'll only be counting content that has been confirmed for a 2018 release date, so don't expect to see the new Evangelion movie, A Certain Magical Index, Code Geass, or Sword Art Online anywhere on this list. Number 10 High School DxD Hero You have to admire this anime. It knows exactly what it is and knows what its audience wants. An abundance of giant cleavage and magical battles. Issei and his ever-expanding harem return for a fourth series, with our excessively lucky hero having to navigate your typical high school tropes, such as slaying rival devils and trying to decide which busty maiden to lose your V-card to. We've all been there, right? <laughs> Don't come here looking for a complex story, but if you want mindless, flashy entertainment with more fan service than you know what to do with, this is the anime for you. Television animation, high school DD hero. Number nine, Tokyo Ghoul Re. This one's a little trickier. On the one hand, fans should be thrilled the actual manga sequel to the original Tokyo Ghoul is finally being adapted. Then again, this comes off the poorly received Tokyo Ghoul Ru A which had more plot holes than we thought possible. Is this new entry gonna retcon Route A? Is it gonna try and connect the two? Hopefully that can all be ironed out sooner rather than later so we can get back to what matters. Number eight, Persona 5, the animation. We're more than content with the Persona 5 video game, but more is always better. The Phantom Thieves of Heart weren't your average vigilante group, going around opposing corruption in all its forms, and their in-game counterparts had so much flair and pizzazz, we can't wait to see how that translates. Last year's OVA, The Daybreakers, gave us a nice taste of things to come, and hopefully this new adaptation will blow things out of the park. <laughs> Number 7, The Seven Deadly Sins, Revival of the Commandments You can't keep a good night down. After managing to free Britannia of the darkness that had blighted it, it appears that Meliodas, Ban, and the rest of the Sins are going to be squaring off against much more demonic band of enemies, the Ten Commandments. It's the ultimate if-warped clash of virtues and vices. Chances are we can expect to see plenty more camaraderie and flirting between the sins, along with some intense fight scenes that truly push the knights to their limits. Number 6, Fooly Cooly 2 and 3 She's back! Many years after the pink-haired, scooter-riding, bass-playing, crazed investigator made an impact on Earth, Haruko makes her grand return, this time teaming up with a young student convinced she's doomed to an average life. What can we expect from more Fooly Cooly? Chances are Haruko will take out a lot of people, lots of giant robots will start to appear, followed by plenty of apocalyptic explosions. Hmm, wonder if Naoto will appear again? Wouldn't be the same without robots coming out of his head. Number 5, Fairy Tale Final Season. Look who's back! Sorry to keep you waiting for so long! The mages of the Fairy Tale Guild are back for one last hurrah. In what has been announced for the final season of this beloved fantasy shonen series, Natsu and the gang look poised to take on new and old foes alike. Dragon Roar! Dragon The likelihood is that this series will follow the manga's final arc. The Alvarez Empire. If that's the case, we can expect to see plenty more of Zeref and Acnologia, along with Natsu setting fire to everything in his path. Of course, the only thing fans want to know is who's gonna end up with who in the end. You're actually serious about this, aren't you? <laughs> Number 4, Golden Kamui. We 
we had to include at least one original series on our list, and from the sounds of it, this could be a real winner. After surviving the Russo-Japanese War of 1905, a soldier named Sugimoto seeks to find a stash of Ainu gold, along with a young female companion, encountering all manner of brutal foes and figures of Japanese history along the way. The manga is already a huge hit, and it's been a while since we've had a series resembling a western set in the east. We're all too eager to see who reaches for the gold first, and what kind of dangers await these wounded souls along the way. Number 3, Attack on Titan Season 3 We've only just gotten over the thrill that was Eren taking on the armored titan, and already we have a third season on the way. Maybe it's the show's way of apologizing for killing off so many beloved characters. From the looks of things, the Survey Corps are going to find themselves not only facing the threat of the Beast Titan and the remaining shifters, but also the dangers from the inside of the wall as well. If the teaser poster is anything to go by, we're going to be seeing a lot more of a certain throat slasher. Manga fans, eat your fill. Not just yet. Number 2, My Hero Academia Season 3. Anyone else ready to go plus ultra? After the second season, which managed to top our list of the best anime of the year, delivered in more ways than any of us could have expected, the wannabe superheroes of UA High are set to face off against the League of Villains early next year. With Midoriya and Shigaraki set in their opposing ideologies, the third season will undoubtedly take our protagonists out of the classroom and straight into a quirk-filled war zone. Come on! Just try and stop me, you fakes! Will Stain's message come to pass? Will Bakugo choose a non-threatening heroic name? Will Minata finally get some? This anime can't get here soon enough. I'm preparing for him to become the next me, my successor. Number 1, One Punch Man Season 2 We're getting the strangest sense of deja vu. Oh yeah, that might be because Saitama also topped last year's most anticipated list. Needless to say, he was a no-show in 2017, but that has only served to increase our hype tenfold. <laughs> Even with next year being dominated by superhero media, seeing one of, if not the strongest character in all of anime take on the likes of fellow registered heroes, as well as the mysterious monster association, will still undoubtedly make a huge impact. All it takes is a single fist bump. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.